what's going on everybody how we doing today hey it is beautiful out and it is uh nice man it's just like not cold <clears throat> great day to work hey i want to talk about today i'm just going to get right into it the benefits of being solo um for some reason some people have like been coming down hard on me well, not coming down hard on me, but they've had a few little jabs at me because I've decided to go solo. Well, you know what? I think there's a lot of benefits to that. <clears throat> and uh, I have decided that as big as my business is, this is all I want. Okay, I don't know. A lot of people have this thing where they get into business is business to make money absolutely am i making money absolutely so i don't know why some people have to try to push their thoughts of business onto other people if you're out there cutting 20 yards a week and you're happy with it good for you if you're out there cutting 25 a week and you're happy with it good for you you are the owner of the business you decide where you want it to be <clears throat> I've decided that what I have is what I want and uh, I'm gonna get into I started thinking yesterday when I read a couple comments on a video like what is the big deal about being solo and not wanting employees I don't, I don't understand some people's thinking, but that's okay. I don't have to worry about them. I just got to worry about Doc. Anyway, I'm at this yard right here. Pretty good size yard. Man, I'll tell you what, I've enjoyed cutting grass this last week and a half. It's just so much more enjoyable, so much more peaceful. And uh, I'm going to get as much footage as I can today. I've only got three to take care of. Uh, I know most people wouldn't skip a yard, but uh, I'm not going to charge a customer money to cut air. Okay, it's, that's me. That's my moral disposition, I guess. Um, I don't want someone coming out to my house doing absolutely nothing and charging me, so I'm not going to do that to my customers. Um, anyway... Let's get to work. We'll talk about it later. But man, I'll tell you what, whether you go solo or you have employees, that's up to you. But I'm telling you, there are benefits to being by yourself. We'll talk about them. Let's go to work.
All right, guys, that one is done. It took me about uh, 40 minutes uh, with two of us here. It usually took us about 35 to 36. So as I'm telling you, if you have the drive, if you have the speed, if you have the know-how, if you have the want, you can get out here. You can make plenty of money. You do not need an employee. Look, I'm not saying if you want to make 500,000 a year, you're not going to do it by yourself. If you want to make 80, 90 grand, you can do it by yourself. Looks great. I think it looks great. I hope you guys like it. And uh like I said, man, so the number one thing being solo, I got to tell you, the stress, the stress is all gone. Is it stressful trying to figure out how I'm going to make everybody happy next year? Sure. I mean, that's a little stressful. But I don't have to worry about that today. I have to worry about that this winter. Is it... Um, it's so much less stressful wondering, did they miss this spot? Did they tear something up? Did they trim something they shouldn't have? Did they mow something they shouldn't have? How much time do we have to get to the next one and the next one? Man, I'm telling you what, the stress is gone. <clears throat> the second thing, financially. I was stressed and probably, probably, no doubt, took it out on my employee because we're taking too much time. We need to get more jobs done because, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, I paid 3400 in taxes alone this year. How many of you <clears throat> can suck down $3,400? Okay. A lot of people can, a lot of people can't. And I had that stress on my shoulders. Um, financially, we had to save every dime that we made because we knew winter time was coming. And uh, I'm telling you, <laughs> I don't care what anybody I don't care if it's my best buddy. If he thinks I'm a fool, so be it. I just made a profit here, and I get to keep it. I don't have to split it. I don't have to cut it two ways. I don't have to cut it three ways. I get to keep it. That's why I'm not in a hurry. I will still be home by 3 o'clock today and have made plenty of money. I mean, I'll be honest with y'all. I can go out in a day and pay half of our bills for the month. Where are you going to go and do that? So for the new guy, hey, I know a new guy that started and he kept asking me, should I get somebody to help me with this? Should, and I said, no. You got a $200 job and you're going to give somebody half that money to go help you when you have nothing else to do that day. So some people are going to say, man, you can go out and fly or you can go out and knock on doors. You can do all that. That does not guarantee you a dime. What guarantees you is you got $200 coming that day. Now you can either split that in half or you can do that job yourself in five hours and put it all in your pocket. Hey, what do I know? I've only been doing this 11 years. Uh, we bought a decent home. We've got money put away. What would I know about it, right? I'm just the guy that bitches and moans and everybody out there thinks I'm full of crap. So good, fine, whatever you think, that's what you think. But I'm telling you, I know guys who are struggling right now and they've got four or five employees, why struggle? Who the hell wants to struggle out here? I don't want to struggle. Anyways, we'll talk about it more later. Let's get to the next one. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you, I just got this one done. Looks pretty good. 
that is uh, every other week now until the end of the season, which will probably be probably <clears throat> two or three more cuts. And uh, really wasn't that bad today at all after two weeks, even with rain and dew. So I know if I would have cut it last week, there would have been nothing to it. So anyway, let's get on to the big one and uh, I'll see you guys there. Okay, I am gonna be at this two acre property. I'm gonna be doing a lot of leaves today. So uh, I don't know what I'm gonna get for you. I'm just gonna get as much footage as I can and we'll see how these gator blades work, man. They seem to be doing well, but we'll check it out. Be back. Just cut the yard in sections and work on it sections at a time instead of trying to cut the whole yard. So uh, let's go get that done. I think it looks good. All right, guys, now it's time to get these leaves done. I'm sure people are going to say, You're not doing it right. You're not doing it right, Doc. I'm sure of it. Uh, shut your mouth. I do it the way I always do it, and it works for me. So uh, let's see what these gator blades will do and uh, I'll show you how I do them and uh, may not be for everybody, but it works for me. Let's go. doesn't take very long um, yeah I'm getting paid to cut the grass I'm also getting paid to do the leaves so uh, anyway back to being solo man I'll tell you what you don't have to worry about people calling in you don't have to worry about getting so much work that day the guy calls in two people call off and you're stuck with no way to get it done uh, do you make more money? I don't know. Because by the time you pay workers comp, uh, unemployment, taxes, insurances, I say not really. Unless you are an absolutely large business, I, I would say if you're doing 200 plus a year, you could do it and it wouldn't hurt you a bit. You're doing 85, 90 and you do it, it takes a toll. Trust me, I was there. And uh, I'll tell you what, I won't get help only on the weekends, only on the weekends. And I know somebody said last time, well, you're getting help. Now you're not getting help. You get, look guys, grow the hell up out there in lawn land. Seriously, grow up. Uh, everybody has a prerogative to change their mind to what fits their business. If you don't like that, don't watch it. But my point is, going solo is a great thing. And it has not hurt me at all. It's actually helped me. 
the customers are very aware. They're very nice about it. They're like, hey, no pressure. When you get it, you get it. And I like it. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. For those of you who listen, I hope you learned something. For those of you who just watched to naysay me, that's fine too. Doesn't matter. Either way, I'm out here making money. Guys, as always, Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real or don't, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. I'm out.